Israel has not only given a deadline to people in Gaza to move to safer areas, it's also stopped the supply of food, water and gas to Gaza territory. And there's a huge humanitarian crisis as Israel continues to pound Gaza heavily. Israel, of course, says it's only taking out the strongholds of Hamas. But what's the ground reality? We will take you to ground zero and show you how children, women, they're suffering on the other side too. There is suffering on both sides of this fence here in Gaza. But there is now a huge humanitarian crisis that's also emerging all along the Gaza Strip. And it's so visible in Gaza City. We bring you a ground report. Shocked, homeless, devastated. Sitting on the ground in dismay in front of the dead bodies is cousin Ala Al Kafarne. He fled two locations with his family before being hit by an Israeli airstrike that killed his pregnant wife, his brother, his father, two cousins, and two extended family members. <laughs> I have lost my father, my brother, my uncle, two cousins, two of my extended family, my pregnant wife, and I am the only survivor. Shurfa ran barefoot from a house with her children after the Israeli airstrikes. She walked for hours, carrying her six-month-old baby. <laughs> When the airstrikes hit, we ran barefoot. We were pushing our children, walking with them one hour and a half from Al Surfa circle to Al Jalal to Al Sifa. We were on foot and got tired. We have children who are one year old, less than one year or aged two years. We were pushing them. We did not take anything with us. We just left everything behind due to the intense airstrike. A huge crowd unloaded the bodies covered in blankets from a truck. As the death toll in the ongoing Israeli onslaught keeps rising, people in Khan units have started to bury the dead in random locations. Adel Hamad recounts his horror. He knew at least 50 people who had been killed in his area overnight. Since 10 p.m. yesterday until early today, more than 50 martyrs in Khan Yunus and the death toll is constantly rising. We cannot contain burials in a specific place, so graves are dug randomly in various places around houses and in places donated by landowners. The Arab person who dies from the Western Arab areas to the Eastern Arab area, we are one body and we cry over all, but no one cries over us. Israeli forces continue to bombard Gaza with airstrikes. Entire neighborhoods have been reduced to rubble. Hospitals have been overwhelmed with wounded people and are running out of supplies with a few hours of electricity left. Israel has stopped the entry of food, fuel and medicine into Gaza. The 2.3 million people of Gaza are trapped paying the price for Hamas' brutality. Death, devastation and destruction is all that is now left to witness on the streets of Gaza. Oh, my God.